The General Electric Building, also known as 570 Lexington Avenue, is a historic 50-floor, 640-foot tall, skyscraper in Midtown Manhattan, New York City, at the southwest corner of Lexington Avenue and 51st Street. Originally known as the RCA Victor Building when designed in 1931 by John W. Cross of Cross & Cross, it is sometimes known by its address to avoid confusion with the much later renaming, in 1988 of the RCA Building at 30 Rockefeller Plaza as the GE Building, itself later renamed the Comcast Building. The building was designated a New York City landmark in 1985, and was added to the National Register of Historic Places on January 28, 2004. Topic: History. At the time that RCA Victor commissioned this building, it was a subsidiary of General Electric. The company then moved its headquarters to Rockefeller Center, and this building was deeded over to the parent company. The building was donated to Columbia University in 1993 to gain a $40 million tax deduction. The university formed a joint venture with Mendick Company and Quantum Realty Partners and refurbished the building in 1994. Mendick bought out Columbia in 2001. Tower 570 Company, LP, an affiliate of the FAIL organization, is the building's current owner. Topic. Architecture The building's 50-floor stylized Gothic octagonal brick tower, with elaborate Art Deco decorations of lightning bolts showing the power of electricity, grows out of the round-cornered base with elaborate masonry and architectural figural sculpture, to form one of the most expressive skyscrapers of its era. The building was designed to blend with the low Byzantine dome of St. Bartholomew's Church on Park Avenue and shares the same brick color, with terracotta decorations chosen to coordinate. The crown of the building is an example of Gothic tracery, which is intended to represent electricity and radio waves, and is lit from within at night. On the corner above the building's main entrance is a clock with the cursive GE logo and a pair of disembodied silver arms holding bolts of electricity. The IA Guide to New York City says that the building's Art Deco details at both street and sky are both sumptuous and exuberant. A major example of Art Deco architecture, the style is both symbolic and expressive of the building's function. According to the New York City Landmarks Preservation Commission, after the building was donated to Columbia University, it was extensively renovated by Ernest De Castro of the WCA Design Group. Topic in popular culture When General Electric was in the process of purchasing RCA, David Letterman, then host of NBC's Late Night with David Letterman, brought a camera crew and a fruit basket to the building in an attempt to welcome their new corporate parents. They were greeted at the lobby by a GE official who demanded they stop filming and leave the premises, before placing his hand over the camera lens. The General Electric building was featured in the 2005 film Mr. and Mrs. Smith as the location of the head office of Jane Doe Angelina Jolie. In the Netflix TV series Iron Fist set in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the character Harold Meacham lives in the penthouse of the General Electric building. The series shows views of the lobby and exterior. Topic Gallery <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Topic. See also. List of tallest buildings in New York City. List of New York City designated landmarks in Manhattan from 14th to 59th Streets. List of National Historic Landmarks in New York City.